welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I cream, how I powder contour my face. Right now I have nothing on my face except for my foundation and concealer under my eyes and that is it. Did I say nothing on my face? But yeah, I do have my eyebrows and my eye makeup on obviously, but just I don't have my sculpt on. If you want to know how I powder contour, then keep on watching. So starting off, I'm taking my LA Girl Glow blush kit right here, and I'm taking this bronzer right here. It's just a nice, light, matte bronzer. And what I like to use for this is pretty much a transition, just so that everything will blend together super beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and clip my hair back, and let's get started. Ooh. Why, why does that always happen to me? It just looks so retarded. For my transition, I'm actually going to take my e.l.f. contouring brush and I'm gonna dip it in here, like so. And this is actually like my first walkthrough voiceover video thing. So yes, yes. And I'm going to place this at the top of my ear right here and I'm gonna drag it down like so, just like this. And as you can see, it's sharp, but we're going to blend it out. I love this e.l.f. brush. And same thing to the other side. If you look, sometimes it's not totally perfect, but it's okay, like I said, because we're just going to blend it all out. Moving on to one of my favorites. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, which looks like this. And I'm going to take the color Sombre with my NARS Ida brush. I'm going to dip it in here about twice. And this stuff is super pigmented. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it right on top of that other bronzer. And pretty much just enhancing it. I know it looks crazy, but don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. So same thing to the other side. So it should look something like this. Because my face is so round, I like to focus like the shadowest shadow parts right on the outside. And it looks darker on this side because the window's this way. Over here there's no window, so it looks really dark on this side, so I apologize for that. And plus I'm looking in the mirror which is on this side, so you guys will see more of my contour on this side, but I'll try to stay focused. Next, I'm going to take my Real Techniques contouring brush, which looks like this. I like this one because it really just blends everything out. So here, I like to take the color Shadow Play, and I like to dip it in here twice or three times or so. Dust it off, and I like to just move in circular motions like so, and just blend upwards. You always want to blend upwards not downwards, just because if you blend downwards, it just defeats the purpose. So really just work your brush in it like so, and just blend all those colors together. And what I really like about the Kat Von D palette is it just blends so flawlessly and so beautifully, it really does. So just keep on going in circular motions, and there you go. It's not a sharp line anymore. So again, just placing it there. Ugh, this hair. And just... So next, I'm gonna take my Coastal Sense 105 brush, which looks like this. I'm gonna take it into the color Subconscious right here. And I like to use this color on my forehead, on the side of my temples, on the side of my jawline and connecting it like a number three on the side of your face. And just run the rest right here. Like I said, I like to just really focus on my cheeks. And then using just nothing but the leftover on your brush and just pretty much blend out the harsh lines again and again upwards. And now taking my damp beauty blender, it's a little dirty, so, because I just did my face. 
And I'm taking the color and I'm taking a little bit of it on my beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and place it underneath my under eyes just so that my concealer is concealed and it will not budge anywhere. And I love this banana color. It really reminds me of my Ben Eye Banana Powder just in a pressed powder form instead of that loose form, which is amazing. Next is blush. I'm gonna go ahead and take this gorgeous corally pink color out of my LA Glow palette. And I'm applying this with my MAC 159 brush. And I like to take this on the pretty much outer part of my cheek and back towards my hairline. That way it gives me, look how pigmented that is, like isn't that gorgeous? That way it gives me more of a lifted face. And what I like to do is also try to blend it in with my contour just so that it's not like two different colors. Like you do not want to look like two different colors, okay? So again, just working it in there and just blending everything out. Moving on with highlight, I'm taking my Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator, and this is in the color Ballerina. And I'll swatch this for you guys real quick. Look how pretty, it's just a nice shimmery glow. And I'm applying this using my Sedona Lace FB01 Fan Brush. It's like opal. Oh, but more of a warm tone gold. I feel like opal is more like bright, but yeah. And of course, to finish off my face, I am going to use my MAC Fix Plus. Yes, this is my little travel one. It's because I came down to Texas and I totally forgot to get my big size one. So yes, I'm gonna spray my face. Oh, actually, no, I'm just kidding. Now that I'm done with applying everything, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. blending brush, which looks like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just buff everything out so that there is no harsh lines, that it doesn't look cakey, and everything is just blended flawlessly. So yes, I'm just going to take this and really just buff it into my cheek area. And on the other side, just so that nothing is like crazy looking. So here we go. I like to just spray it, let it dry. So yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed how to powder contour your this is how I powder contour my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any requests on anything else, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.